incredibly severe. It's hard to look at. Uh, here's aerial video now. Yeah, this is drone video that we uh, just got into our newsroom that really we, we saw a little while ago. I uh, just kind of scanned through it quickly. It shows from the air. This is our real first look at some of the extensive damage that you'll see. And as this video continues, you'll be able to see some of the uh, signatures of the tornado path. You can see where it just went through and you can see these uh, countless houses as it moves along here without rooftops and debris strewn about in the streets and cars flipped over. Just everywhere you turn, you can see that this was a widespread event. This wasn't just limited to a couple of streets. This was mm -hmm. a widespread event in New Orleans East. And we've also seen our reporters, Travers Mackle, Casey Ferran, Jennifer Crockett, as well as Aubrey Killian. They are walking block by block, and on every single block, everywhere you turn, there is damage that they are seeing right now. So again, that's why it's important to be aware that the Red Cross is on the way. Also to be aware that the Joe Brown Center will be open tonight because, as you said, darkness will fall soon, and people need some place to go that is safe, uh, that is warm, and that they can really calm down and regroup.